All right, guys. Back from the lake. We went out Friday, Saturday. Stayed out there both days. Caught one walleye. Good size, but that was pretty disappointing. Boat did good. No, nothing bad happened, so. Still here, right? It's not at the bottom of the lake, so that's good. But, anyways. Engines ran okay. This one's still being a freaking problem. It will not idle for shit. As soon as you go to put it in gear, it stalls out. It's like, oh, perfect. That's cool. And this one, it idles, but idles, idles a little rough. It shakes back and forth. So, so it's back in the shop. We're going to clean the carburetors on both of them again. And this time I'm going to put a, another inline filter straight out of the tank. Catch any shit. Uh, our temperature sensors work great. These are just the eBay specials. They're like 15 bucks a piece, I think. You get the sensor and the gauge and all the wiring. Those worked really good. Told us what's up. Made sure you weren't overheating. So, definitely nice to have those. This one's down here. So, yeah, boat did good. Um, definitely need to beef up the transom. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll just cover. Get this out of the way. You can see this or not. Our transom is bowed pretty good. See, it kind of goes off on an angle like that. So, definitely need to beef the transom up. Because these engines, eventually, we're going to have two of these uh, Mariner 75 horses. Going to have two. Two Mariner 75s eventually. For now, we got this Mercury 40 and Mariner 75. But and these things weigh 300 pounds a piece. So multiplied by two, that's 600 pounds of weight hanging off the back of the bolt by two feet. So oh yeah, and our uh, splash um, splash deflectors they work really good. Except all the way at the bottom, the water is still hitting the very bottom and spraying up. So we got to take care of that. But these were a huge improvement over the first test run. It's first time out, they just water just hit the back here, just sprayed up on the engine. Just made a freaking mess. And it's really not good to be spraying your engines with water. It's really not cool. So. Yep, yeah, and then at the top here we need to build a little piece to go over and back down to keep the water from splashing into the engine. See so, yeah. up on both engines, both sides. You gotta do it to that too. So anyways, still looking for another we're still trying to find an engine like this so that they'll be matching. Have twin seventy fives. But with 115 horsepower we have right now between the two of them it did 30 miles an hour with three of us in the boat so it did okay as far as speed goes 30 miles uh, it handled the waves handled the wave just fine it's a good solid boat so everything in the council worked out good shifters shifters up front those all worked good Steering was great, smooth. Um, yeah, bilge pump, all that stuff up there, all worked. Fuel gauge we thought was off, but it turns out we just didn't fill it up all the way. So the fuel gauge is accurate. And that's another thing. We only got 20 gallons of gas right now in this back tank. And just going out there and back was about 10 gallons. Just to get us out there and back one trip was 10 gallons so 20 gallon tank is not going to cut it especially when you've got two of these bad boys in the back which would be 150 horsepower so we definitely need a bigger gas tank so that means that we either got to mount tanks on the side walls here which I really don't want to do or we pick our floor back up which is just sitting there right now 
and we put the tank underneath the deck with possibly an electric fuel pump running back to the engines but we're not sure yet we really don't want to run an electric pump because it's just one more thing to one more thing to go wrong but we'll see we definitely need at least 40 gallons 40 if not 60 if 40 if not 60 gallons of gas would definitely help out a lot because these things are not easy on gas apparently but we didn't know that so now we do but yeah yeah, the boat itself did great. Got us out there and back and plenty of seats. But like anything else, it's still a, still a work in progress. Rod holders, those work good for keeping the fishing poles out of the way so you don't step on them. So yep, yeah, gotta finish the headliner still. It's still a work in progress up there. But yeah. That's about all I can think of. Beef up the transom. Get two matching motors. Uh, fix, modify the splash shields a little bit. And a bigger fuel tank. Those are the major problems right now. So, like anything else, you gotta go out there and test it. Come back. Fix it. Go out there and test it again. That's why they call it a project. It ain't no plug and play project. So, yep. Yeah, that's about it. Take care.